guys, so for October day 18, I decided to make homemade eggnog. It's a delicious treat the whole family will love. Eggnog is commonly associated with Christmas time, but I don't see who says you can't make it as a Halloween treat. Starting from scratch, I will show you step by step on how to make a delicious homemade eggnog for the whole family. So for this recipe, you're going to need vanilla extract, whole nutmeg and whole cloves, four eggs, milk. I'm using 1% because I just like it better, but feel free to use whatever milk you desire. Also, some heavy cream. Things you'll need is a bowl for mixing, a medium deep pan, a grater to grate the nutmeg, a whisk, measuring cups and spoons, and a wooden spoon for mixing. All right, so the first step is to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Place the egg whites in a separate bowl and put aside for a later step. After separating the yolks, grab your whisk and whisk away until the yolks appear lighter in color. Now take half a cup of sugar and slowly add it to the whisked egg yolks. Whisk the mixture until nice and fluffy. Take two cups of milk and add them to the deep pan. Next, grab your whole cloves, take two of them, and add them to the milk. Finally, sprinkle a tiny pinch of cinnamon into the milk and clove mixture. Heat the mixture on medium. You want to heat the milk until it is steamy hot but not boiling. Add the yolks into your mixing bowl. Now add half of the steamy milk mixture to the yolks to temper the eggs. Take your whisk and whisk away. Be sure to whisk well. Add the entire mixture to your pan. Heat the mixture on medium heat, or if you have a temperature-controlled stovetop, set the temperature to 160 degrees. Constantly stir the mixture with a wooden spoon until the mixture begins to thicken slightly and coats the back of the spoon. It helps to have a candy thermometer if you do not have a temperature-controlled stovetop. It's not necessary, but if you have one, cook until the mixture reaches 160 degrees. Do not allow the mixture to boil or it will curdle. If the mixture does curdle, you may be able to save it by running it through a blender. After removing your pan from the heat, you're going to want to add your cream now. Add it slowly to the mixture and begin to stir. You want to stir it very well. After stirring in the cream, you can 
can use a mesh strainer to remove the clothes, or you can simply do as I'm doing and take a spoon, look for the clothes, and take them out of the mixture. All right, add your mixture to a bowl and take your bowl and place it in the fridge for one hour. Now it's time to grate the nutmeg. Take your nutmegs and grate them using any kind of grater really. I'm using a grater that is kind of simple and easy to use. You don't want to use like a cheese grater or any of that kind. What I'm using right now is pretty well. Just scrape it completely. You don't have to take off the shell or anything. Just scrape it until it's down to the bare minimum, until you can't scrape it anymore. After you've done your grating, you're going to need one teaspoon of the nutmeg. Add the nutmeg to your mixture. Now grab your vanilla extract. Add one teaspoon to the mixture. Mix all the ingredients well. This last step is optional. Beat the egg whites until they reach soft peaks. Add a teaspoon of sugar to the egg whites and continue to beat until they reach stiff peaks. Now this step is optional because of the salmonella risk from raw eggs. It's recommended that children, elderly, and people with compromised immune systems refrain from eating raw eggs such as the optional whipped egg wipes in this recipe, unless you use pasteurized eggs also women who are pregnant. Now you're done with your eggnog. You can add them to decorative cups. To sort of add a hollowing twist on this very Christmassy eggnog, I kind of added some ghostly marshmallows and also the cups I'm using are kind of like a Halloween theme. These are purely decorative, these marshmallows. If you wanted to make them edible instead of using a sharpie like I did to create the eyes and the ooh effect, what you can do is use some chocolate syrup and it'll work just the same. I want to thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun making this homemade eggnog. It was really delicious and I definitely recommend it. Again, if you're pregnant, you can totally just take away the fact that I added the raw egg whites. You don't have to add them into the mixture. They still taste friggin' awesome. Again, guys, thank you for watching so much. I had a lot of fun and I definitely recommend this.